this video, we will show how to use the PW636i protection relay test set to test the distance protection relay by using the Goose application. First, we will make the wiring connection between relay and uh, relay test set, and second, we will import the SCL file into power test software for configuration of Goose message. And then lastly, we will use the relay templates to do the testing automatically. First, make current and voltage wiring connection between relay test set and the relay. And there is no need to do the wiring connection of the binary inputs and the binary outputs, because we shall use the goose message to replace the uh, binary signal. And for the goose message application, we will use Ethernet cable to connect uh, one end to the Ethernet port on the relay panel, and the other end connect to the PW36S rear panel, the Ethernet port for the goose transmission. The Ethernet port on the front panel of PW636I is used to connect to the PC. After the wiring connection, we can start the test. Open the software power test, click Setup, System and IEC to configure the Goose message. Click Goose Subscription to import the SEL file which was exported from the Relays software. And this is the file which was exported from the Relay. Click Num0 and then click OK. Number 1 is trip function, number 2 is auto reclosing function. Since we disabled the auto reclosing function when we configure the relay, we only test the trip function in this testing. Then clear all the mappings of the previous testing. Mapping the binary input A as trip signal. After the configuration, we click OK. Then we can run the module quick test to verify if the PW636i can receive the goose message correctly. You can check that we only enabled the distance function. We can click F2 start the test to do the verification. The binary input A tripped with the goose signal received. Then we can exit quick test module and open the relay template to test the distance function. After importing the relay template, we can click F2 to start the test.